You know what happens when Doctor Strange gets reshoots? Alec Baldwin shoots the stage up. He just shoots. And kills. Wow. That's not what happened. Reshoots. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Ah, yes, friends. Doctor Strange is undergoing significant reshoots. The doc is on call. Tell Christmas. Just like we reshot this episode. Yes, this is the second time we've reshot this. We had to make it better. <laughs> make it great again. We had to make it hairier. Oh, no. Uh, so, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, the Benedict Cumberbatch starring sequel to the 2016? Look at these lopsided nipples. Make them even again. Oh my god! Make my nipples even again. No one wants to see this. Oh my god! Just we like no lost. one apparently wanted to see the first cut of Doctor Strange. I mean, that was a hit. What? The first Doctor cut? No, Doctor the first Strange. cut of Doctor Strange: Multiverse of Madness. Oh yeah, nobody wants to see that. Or at least the studio doesn't want to see that. Studio, what are you doing? Shouldn't interfere, especially with a Sam Raimi movie. Do you remember what happened last time you did that? Sony did that. He gets very vindictive. Yes, he puts venom in it, and then he makes uh, Peter Parker go like, yeah. Finger guns. Finger guns, baby. Although finger guns are apparently a weapon now, Ooh. according to Marvel's Eternals. Blip loof. Blip loof. Yeah. Blip loof. That's literally what Eternals do in the movie. They just finger blast. They finger, yeah, Kumail Nanjiani finger blasts in the name of Vishnu. Wow. So anyway, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness with the Benedict Cumberbatch. Did you know there wasn't a movie since 2016? I did not. It's like five years. It's not going to be released for like six years. It's been a minute. It's been a hot second. Yeah. So how significant are these? They're going to do six weeks of shooting. Well, if six not days more, a week? Six days a week. That's a lot of work week. That seems like you're putting on the crunch. They're saying that these reshoots are significant and they're adding additional photography and reshoots. I wonder if it, it has to do with the fact that they're getting bad feedback from some of this stuff. Even though they hired the Loki head writer, Michael Waldron, who did a I'm, terrible job. I'm assuming they watched it and Sam Raimi made it a fucking horror movie and they're like, this cannot happen for a Marvel movie. Please stop. It is too scary. Were yeah. they tree raped? Although I'm pretty sure one of the first reports of this movie was it was supposed to be a horror movie. Yes, that's what I heard. But I, th I bet you they thought it was too scary. Probably. So scary. Like, we can't have small children watch this. Uh, yes, and they are saying that the Marvel method, method does involve recent pickups for Spider-Man No Way Home and Moon Knight and all that. But, because they're saying even in, in while in the middle of production, Marvel is scheduling you for more shooting. That's just common practice for them. They're saying that the size and complexity of the movies always necessitates additional photography. But other people said, uh, and some people said, we've had bigger reshoots. But it seems a little strange that it's coming at Christmas, where Hollywood is typically closed from Thanksgiving until January 5th. Oh, they full shit. Where there's no one there. They're saying uh, several factors seem to be driving the shoot. One insider said that two weeks are dedicated to principal photography, which was held over from the initial shoot in the UK due to availability of actors. And then they're saying the rest of it is uh, the catch up on production slowdowns from the Couth. I don't know, but it's been pushed back from March 25th, 2022 to May 6th, 2022. Seems a little sus. You know what else got pushed back? Black Panther Wakanda Forever because Letitia Wright got hurt too. Yes. They're pushing everything back. I think they have a quantum hernia. I would hope. So. Yeah, Ant-Man Ant going to be pretty awesome, I think. Who signed on to do that? They just signed somebody pretty Paul big. Paul Rudd. No, somebody else, like a villain that's like ridiculous. They cloned Paul Rudd. They did not. Kurt Russell. No. Ben Diesel. Keep going. Uh, Kate no. Beckinsale. I wish. Me too. Hmm. You just got me too. Ooh. So anyway, uh, they started production in 2022, but paused in 2021 due to the coup. They time traveled from 2022 to 2021. Yes. Uh-huh. 2020. 20. 2020. 20, November. Said, 2020. So almost a year ago. Yeah. A year ago. Yeah. How long does it even take to do a movie? Pussies? I don't know. But uh, apparently, Cumberbatch discussed this 
these reshoots on the most vile human alive, Jimmy Kimmel. As they were discussing, he's like, like everything with Marvel. He comes in fresh, pretty much in the mornings. He loves a fresh taste. Cumberbatch said with a laugh when question, it's a really exciting and the film is shaping up to be something special. Sounds like he is spewing bullshit. Does he get to make out with the Scarlet Witch? I hope so. Does he get to motorboat her boobies? Who knows? Yeah. You might know this and more. Did Alec Baldwin shoot her fake titties? Does she have them? I don't think so. I think she has real ones. Only one way to find out is you shoot them. (laughs) <laughs> You're really obsessed with this mm-hmm. Alec Baldwin thing. You think he's going to come down on this movie and, and do, do some finger blasts? Did we already do finger Alec blast? Baldwin was the, the villain of this movie. Wow. That is distinctly possible. Because he's eternal. Is he? And he snapped Thanos. Alec Baldwin killed Thanos. Wow. Yeah. I think you're going you didn't too know. Far. If you didn't watch Marvel, spoiler alert, Alec Baldwin did it. He did everything. He's eternal. He did. Well, anyway, uh, I think this is bad news. Are you thinking this is bad news or good news? Oh, it's bad news. Oh, this is bad. I'm still going to see it, but it's bad news. Yeah. And is Sam Raimi going to ruin the movie intentionally like he ruins I Spider-Man so. 3? I That'll hope be he hilarious. has Doctor Strange just dancing in a thong. Finger blasting. Do you think he'll just keep adding villains just like he did? He's like, oh, we're going to have Sandman and we're going to have... He has Rhino come in. He, that was from maybe, Amazing Spider-Man maybe 2. Maybe he has Carnage. Nope. Um, he did have a terrible Venom, though. How can he have Venom and have a scrawny Venom? That doesn't make any sense. With thin Venom. He just wasn't fat Venom. Thinum. Thinum. Femim. Femin? Yeah. Yeah, who, who's the actor who played that guy? Uh, Toby Maguire. No, nope. the dude from the 70s uh, show. Uh, Eric Fisher. Nope. Um, Keep going. The Scientologist. Nope. Shit. Wow. I don't know. That guy from the 70s show who yeah. sucked. He hasn't acted since. He did that one Predators movie in his career. He thought. Not a good show. That's Topher Grace. Topher. Boom. Tofu Grace. Did it. Is not a good Venom. He's okay. Yeah, he's a great Eddie Brock, let me tell you. No, he's a real, bad Eddie Brock. He's an okay Jeff. Venom. How is he an okay Venom? It's a CGI Venom. Exactly. Okay, there yeah. you go. He just has like one half of his face be like... Exactly. Ah. Anyway... This is terrible news for the MCU as it continues to sputter and potentially falter. We'll keep you up to date on this and more, including some of the announcements from Disney Plus, if you may have. Maybe. Perhaps, if you're lucky. But if you don't give us a subscription and a like, new me may be forced to do this. I will hire Topher Grace because he's out of work to crawl into your bedroom, wear his Venom mask, and then lick you from head to toe, whether you like it or not. Maybe feed Is there you, consent? Maybe no, absolutely not. Maybe feed you a Twinkie. Who knows? Butterscotch crimpet. There's a lot of options here. And Topher Grace has provided all of them. Because we have a partnership bean. with Tasty Cake. Oh my gosh. Yep. Linked right here. Yes. We Tasty do Cakes. not get paid by Tasty Cakes. We do. Do we? We get paid in Tasty Cakes. Oh my gosh. From our number one pain doc. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Anyway, from all of us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You to all of y'all at home, we love y'all and clearly we are on to the next one.